every class, I'm getting this information from you, and you answer those questions. I'm sorry. I'm just seeing you after I And if you, by what you say, is what, what we'll do from there on. But I'm giving away two $25 gift certificates gift cards in each class and then at the end of the day we will have one winner of my 12 favorite items in Mary Kay. The company actually picked out these 12 favorites so this is valued at $100 and I will have one winner for that. I don't know if they will announce this at lunch or what but anyway so that's why I want you to fill out that slip there because I feel like you know, when you're gone, I never know where you are, and all my cards are gone already. But let me just tell you what we're going to do uh, today, because I have a lot to do and not much time to do it. Is that right? How many minutes I got? It's 11.15. And I got till 12? Um, I'm not sure. I think till 12, yes. She said, she said 25 minutes. Anyway, let's just get supposed going. to be 30 minutes. 30 okay. minutes? Yes. Okay, let me tell you, I got a lot to say and a little time to do it. So I made me these notes because my brain will go one way and my mouth will go another. So welcome. I'm so glad that y'all came. It makes me feel so good. I do several events a year around Jacksonville and Southern Georgia. And I will tell you, I love coming for this group. They always, you always make me feel special and good and like you like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm supposed to be talking about today is, uh, I think they made, took a survey, that, what did you want to know most, and it was techniques for, for a little bit older person and then techniques for younger people. So when we're younger, we want to look older, and when we're older, we want to look younger, so God's good. <laughs> He makes sure we got gold all the time. <laughs> so, what I, what I want you to do is fill out your surveys. I've got two $25 gift certificates for each class, and then it, I'm having one grand prize that's valued at $100. Um, there are lots of techniques, and I probably know them all because I have been with Mary Kay for 25 years. I've never done anything years except be married. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my best? <laughs> yeah, that's good because he's not my starter husband. <laughs> I'm not your starter wife, but we like each other <laughs> a lot. But anyway, so I wanted to tell you all about that and then I just want to tell you about some techniques. I did not realize this, but I have a flat face. Uh, people will tell you what you got. <laughs> so what I do is I put a little bit of shade here and a little bit of shade there so it makes my nose come out more instead of being flat. So one technique you may like, there are different techniques. It takes more than just looking at you out there. I do free consultations. Uh, you get to use samples before you ever buy, try before you buy, people like that. Um, but one, I need a volunteer. I'm, you gonna leave that mask on? No. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be my volunteer. Okay, volunteer, you come right here. There is one technique that I have discovered over the years works for almost anybody. Over the age of 40, you wanna stay light, light here. And since I've been on Zoom, I'm even being light in here because I look like that on Zoom. But there are techniques you can use with Zoom too. Don't put it here. Look up at it. <laughs> hey, a good thing for you to do is to hold your head up high. If you never have, now is a good time. But, but I'm just going to show you very quickly when I get when I get dressed in the morning. The biggest favor you're going to do for yourself, and if I repeat myself, y'all just have to forgive me, is to get on a good skincare program. I've got mine over here. I've got it for any age group. They uh, also have the best housekeeping seal of approval, which means that it's been tested outside of Mary Kay. But I wear two foundations. 
One of them is <laughs> One of my foundations is three shades lighter than this one is three shades lighter than the one I wear from here down. And I'm gonna show you what is your name? Beverly. Beverly. I'm gonna show you with Beverly. Another thing that you want to uh, be very aware of is your eyebrows. I, one of the first programs or makeup artistry classes that I attended for Mary Kay, they had a makeup artist, his name was John Maxwell, and it's not the John Maxwell, the business leader that we have today. But he said, your eyebrows are the most important feature on your face because you can look excited, you can look like this, you can look like that. Your eyebrows are what frames your face, okay? So he called me up on stage because he wanted to have a model that had deep set eyes, which I have very deep set eyes. And he told me I needed to shave off the end of my eyebrows because they were growing down, which was pulling me down. And I did shave off the end of my eyebrows. And <laughs> that's not a pretty sight. When you get up in the morning, you got these little eyebrows in the middle. But I do like what it does for the overall appearance of my face. Because instead of it down now, I bring them out. I've actually had my eyebrows tattooed, but it never lasts. No, so I just do it, it and it hurts. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> first of all, we're. Oh, and another thing, when you're working with concealers or foundations, uh, and a lot of times I wear a matte foundation. We have a luminous, but I wear the matte. But you want to, after you apply your concealer, you want to push it in with water. Push it in. And you won't, you won't see that crepey look. I just learned that about a year ago. After we went virtual, I saw a director doing a makeover, and I thought, oh my word, she's going to ruin that lady. But after she did it, she patted it with the water. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I made a mess here. Your tools make a difference. I love these little wedgies. I, I love this. Now these I get at Walmart. I think you get about a hundred for four or five dollars. I get a big sack of them, but see they're pointed and you can get in there. But now this, we have these. And once I put on my lighter foundation, I go and I'm patting it all in with this, because this gets in the corners too. You'll see what I mean. So we're gonna lighten up. <laughs> Might be overdoing it here. Is it ready? You tell me when I have to go. I can go into overdrive, <laughs> but I want to put a little bit, of t a little bit on top of the eyebrow there, around. Okay, then what I do is I take my concealer after that's already on there. Am I looking? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Then with a concealer, you want you don't want to go. You want to. Of course, you have the applicator, but you want to push it in. And I push it right in this little, I call it a little ditch. But we want to lighten that and bring that out. So we got that. Then I'm going to go back. You probably should turn her a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're the first one to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start. I got a big mouth. Okay, so then I'm gonna. Can you already see a lift? Okay. Then we want to. You don't want to bring your blush in any closer. Two fingers, 
You don't want to bring it below the nose, so you want to keep it high. So I'm going to go. And another, another thing, a lot of people are always looking for the perfect shade of blush. You can use your lipstick. You can do that. I know I, I thought that you couldn't do that, but I was teaching a class for other consultants, and I was saying, you know, my mother uses her lipstick, and then another one of the directors said, they actually say that on our formula of lipsticks, that it's not going to hurt your face. Okay, then the eyebrows. Which mine and my eyebrows and my eyelashes are about non existent anymore. Look, we got just the two. <laughs> we have what is called lash and brow serum. It's $35. It lasts about three months, but you see my eyelashes? Mm -hmm. I've got some eyebrows too. Yeah, you do. Well, that lash serum, they had some out on the market for a while called Latiche. And it, it was actually getting discoloring the eye, the uh, white of the eye. I've been using that. We've probably had it about three years. I use it, and I love it. It has made such a difference. How my eyelashes look and my eyebrows. Okay, now we want this. You want this to come here like this, and then this like this, but you don't want your eyebrow coming down. You want your eyebrow really coming out, okay? And what I, we've got pencil, we've got lash tint, uh, not lash tint, brow lines, because, did I tell you I would have white eyebrows? Not totally, I got white ones in there. And I dye them, but I don't like to do it all the time because it takes me about 45 minutes and I'm always doing something. But uh, we've had this a couple of years, and it's, you can take it and get your color and paint your eyebrows and paint those white hairs. Yeah. So like a lot of times, just as a courtesy, when I get up in the morning, if I'm not even going anywhere, I want Jesse to think I look better than I do. <laughs> but I love this. I love this lash tint. I mean, what is that called? Brow tint. Brow tint. And then when you, if you do dye your eyebrows, just get regular hair dye and use 10 volume um, developer. Because if you use anything higher than 10, it's lightening it up, which is going to make it fade faster. But if you use 10, it just deposits and it lasts longer. You got that? Use 10 volume. You can use your regular hair dye. If you dye your hair, you dye your eyebrows at the same time. Okay. So now we're going to... You always want to make sure you have the right tools as far as sponges, brushes. We have awesome brushes. Uh, like, uh, I think the whole set is like $50. One, one in the mall would be $50 for one brush. We have very high quality brushes. So. See, I'm going to come out, so you might have to take that off. Take the little tail off. Okay, dope. <laughs> I had a cousin when I was growing up. She shaved all her eyebrows and threw them off. <laughs> <laughs> Look like grown on eyebrows, and then you have the little stuff. Like she had dark hair. So when, if she didn't shave it quite often enough, you would see the little stub and the drawn on eyebrow. <laughs> I just I want to I'm going to do this to you very quickly. See my eyebrows have not grown in over 20 years. I haven't had to pluck on or do anything. But you know what? I don't think that's unusual. I think that's quite common. 
But I will say, I don't use your serum product, but I do have a brow serum product, and it has a big effect. So if it's I don't have to do that with brow serum. Does it make a grow? What did oh, you yeah. say? I, I use a serum product. I started using it about two years ago. It's not your product. But I've had an increased production of eyebrows. I don't have to ever fill it anymore. You're, 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 using, you're using a serum. You're, you're, yeah. yeah, similar to what you sell. I'm sure they're all similar, you might probably get better. But it does, for me it worked. My, my daughter now uses it. Yeah, so she still got her brow here, but walk around there where they can see, and then I'll do the other side of your face. Still, one second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah, I was thinking. You well, see when I go out there to eat lunch, you're going to be having water half of my face. <laughs> 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 it's done. And the other half is not. <laughs> well, I grab the other side. I'm going to go over here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here's my lash yeah. I love this. I'm not going without that. I love it. And as far as lipstick, don't buy the lipstick that tints your lips. That's too dry. It dries out your lips. It's not good for them. I use a lip primer, and it's good for your. It's good for lines around your lips and on your lips. And your lipstick, my lipstick, will stay from the time I get dressed to the time I eat. And then it looks faded, and I just do it again. But any lipstick that's going to stay on you all day long is not good for you. It's not good for your eyes. I mean, not good for your lips or your eyes. Did we talk about the, the hydrogel patches? This is wonderful. I use this every day. It says to use it two or three times a week, but I have it in my store. I use it every day. But this is hydrogel patches. I call this fruit and vegetables for your eyes. Mm -hmm. It has a little thing because it's little petals that you have to lift up. But just, I put them in the refrigerator. You know what? We, let, let's do that to you. Let's just do uh, That's a good idea. We'll have to do I put them in the refrigerator. If you have migraine headaches and stuff like that, this I use these every day. It is so noticeable what it in does. In the morning, evening, when? Yeah, in the morning. When I get up, I use these. So what does it do? Does it relieve? It hydrates. Uh, I actually kind of like cucumber when they used to have you do the cucumber eye down. We have a we're supplement. I have a sheet on everything. Supplement. What are these called? They're called hydrogel eye patches. But they're, I haven't had anybody use that that didn't love it. You know, can you, how long do you leave it on? It says 20 minutes. And then can you use it on the other eye? Or is it? No. Oh, I use I use both petals. Okay. You you get uh, sixty petals, which is thirty sets. But if you want to read about them, yes. That when you stay hydrated, it, it just makes a huge difference. When we take that off, you'll be able to see what a difference it makes. Do y'all have anything used to? They were like this little gel capsule, and you popped off the oh, yeah. end of it, and you did it all over your face, and your face felt good. They call them peptides or something. I can't well, remember. peptides are actually in our uh, skin care. Oh, okay. Peptides are what plumps up the lines and makes them look softer. Um, so that's in all of our skincare sets. Because it did, I, and then all of a sudden you didn't see them anymore, but boy, they used to make your face so nice. But you know what? Because science goes forward, what we learn goes forward. A lot of people say they've used Mary Kay and it broke them out. That's been, it has been so improved 
over the years, we are very famous for our makeup, for I mean for our skincare. This is something I learned at this church. They asked me to do an event, okay? And I thought, how and what in the world do you do with a bunch of Christians at the, at the you know, this? So I started studying the Bible, which I love the Bible. And I know all about Esther, but I didn't know really that they fixed her up for a year and a half. They powdered her, greased her, did all that. And then if you look at the way God said to build a tabernacle, he was very precise about the beauty and the elegance. And I said this to them. I've been doing this ever since, and that's probably two years ago. I said, I want you to raise your hand. This is a gift. How many of you would rather have this gift? Raise your hand. Nobody. How many wants this gift? <laughs> and you know what's wrong with that? It's a human fault. These both have a heart of gold. But you didn't give this little guy a chance. And we're, you know, life's not fair. I don't think you need to cover up with makeup. I love makeup. I've loved makeup since I was a little girl. You dolly part in the second. But let me tell you something. Life's not fair. I've just been helping a friend of mine's granddaughter get a job. And I said, hey, they, you may think they're not looking at you, but they are. Don't go in there looking like you don't care. You show up on time. Do what they tell you to do. Be grateful. And look the part. You don't look that that position. What position do you want? That's right. That's, That's right. the one you're going to get ready for. That's right. So anyway, good advice. No, yeah, believe her. Uh, yeah, Dolly Parton said she used to crush, you know, because they lived out in the country and were poor. She would crush berries and put it on for blush and lipstick. She liked. Uh, the makeup not so much. And you know what? If you don't like makeup, that's okay. I still love you, but I like makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let me tell you, I've worked in nursing homes. Did I tell y'all that? Yeah. They love you? it. They love it. They say, oh, they're smiling. And they, they you know, yeah. all you got to do is put a little lipstick, a little blush, and something on the eyebrow. I remember the story you told about the lady that looked down all the time, and you did her face, and... Uh, her husband was just so amazed because she just sat up straight and she hadn't done that in years. Oh, she, she, he brought her down there in a wheelchair and she was just like this. And he was pushing her. And my mother-in-law went with me because I wanted her to go with me. I was scared. I had never done anything like this before. It was out in her community in Hilliard. And that lady came down there. We had a full class every week we went on Monday. And we had to get down under there with the mirror and fix her. And then I'd stick it in the machine. And the first time she went like this. <gasps> Pretty! Aww. He never missed bringing her, y'all. Mm -hmm. It made her feel good. When I first got in Mary Kay, the only reason I got in Mary Kay was I was downsized out of my Walter America job. You know, you get to that age where you're not. Yeah. <laughs> they want to get rid of you and hire three. But uh, I think what's kept me around is I make people happy. I see in that, just like I haven't been able to go to the place that I go every week. It's called the Legacy out in Switzerland. And uh, because I haven't been able to even go back in there. And it's been kind of depressing because I realize they think I'm doing for them. But it makes me happy when I go. I just go out of there so happy you know. What's the best way to contact you? You, did you get a survey? Yeah. 
Just I'll call you if you put on there. Oh, okay. Text or call. I will call you. No, but I don't. You can do both. I'm not just in case I answer, but I really do want to go to your house. I'll find you. 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 I'll find
Because when I get up right in here, my eyes real crazy. So I just stick these on and walk around there. It says 20 minutes, but sometimes they dry off of me because I just keep them on. <laughs> I, I love those things. Uh, all of our products are 100% guaranteed. You always get to try before you buy. We can talk on the phone. We can do Facebook Live. That's one thing I want to get back with y'all because I have a, um, a Facebook just for my business and it's called the Mary Kay Way Today and I don't get on there as much as I should but I'm trying to make myself get on there more because they tell you, oh, you know, you got to get to know people and all that. But I've always got something advertising on there. And when I have a special, it's on there. But you can't be on regular Facebook. You have to be in my private group. So I will contact you about that. If you have a Mary Kay consultant or you're not interested in any of that, still put your name on there and just put no. You're not interested. That was Mary Kay Way today. The Mary Kay Way today. But I have to be your friend first. And then I when you, when I'm your friend, then I'll invite you to my private group. So you know what you might want to do? If you want me to make you my friend, put your name how it is on Facebook and I'll look you up. Okay, because I ran out of cards. Um, if you want your mate, did I tell y'all about the primers? Mm -hmm. Okay, I had a question earlier. A lady said, what do you do when I get this on? Is this supposed to stay all day? Uh, or in three hours I have to redo it? No, not if you use your skin care and you use a primer. And then after the primer, I do this in the summer. I don't do it in the winter time because I dry up in the winter and it stays on anyway. Because what this does, it's a primer and it dries to a matte finish. So you're just like painting a wall. And you put that primer, it makes it adhere. So I put my makeup on in the morning, and it pretty well stays all day. When I eat, I put on my lip primer again. But but the this is a finishing spray. You just go, and it stays on for hours. So it depends on how legal y'all want to get. How long you want to be pretty? <laughs> okay. See, one question. For those of us, I used to comb my hair and I would know what color to use on my eyebrows and my eye things. Um, now that I'm more white, um, what color do they recommend for you know, the eyebrows to, to enhance them? You know what? I would say, looking at you and I see underneath back here, I would do the, the brown black. It's not real black, but it's not brown. A blonde is not going to look right, or a brunette, but it's kind of going to. It's called black brown, and most of my people that have the gray hair do use that. Actually, one of the models earlier had the gray hair, and we did that on her. Thank you. Any more questions? Comments? Love the class, as always. always. <laughs> you know, I'm forgetting these young people. The Lord knows we need y'all. <laughs> we do. We do. Because if it wasn't for the young people that's helped me so much since then, because when this first happened, I was like, a Zoom, I'm thinking you're going to Zoom in. <laughs> but I had a lot of people help me. But y'all, I couldn't even sleep. It, it worried me because I love my business. And I mean, I was already noticing that people don't want to come to your house. They don't want to get together with you. You say, I, I did all my shopping on Amazon for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So we had to we had to pivot real fast, and I had to pivot. So I, I like it now. I was talking about young people. They know that. You can take a three-year-old, and they're like, you're uh, like. <laughs> the only bad thing is y'all go too fast. <laughs> I was just going to ask, I saw something, and I do work from home, and I am on Zoom and Teams meetings all the time, if you've seen like an increase when people, because I before, when it was just phone calls and not all these meetings in person, now everybody has, because they can do a video call, everybody wants to do a video call, I'd like, I'd like to just, so I have to make myself up now, and I didn't know Honey, I know it. <laughs> I know. So you've seen like an increase in your services or your business? Have I seen an increase? Because people want to look good for those Zoom meetings? I can't, I'm beginning to come back. I think I was too intimidated and insecure 
not about what I know about skin care, but I'm not used to getting and looking at a camera and just start performing for you. Okay. Right, you but know? the people, like when you're, in a, when you're in an office meeting, right, you can not see yourself all the time. Right. You're talking and talking. Right. Now you're on these meetings and you see yourself the whole time. <laughs> so for me, it's kind of like, okay, I don't look so good. <laughs> hey, I have discovered something that I'm going to start doing, and it's called like one of my young consultants. She on Saturday, she works full time and she's got a six year old. On Saturday, she'll make her up three or four posts for the week and she saves it and puts it on the timer and it gets on there. That's what I want to learn because I could fix myself up. I just change my blouse and just do it on a different day. Right, but it's kind of a photo. It's a photo of yourself. I'm getting there. Sorry. Y'all don't forget to fill out your survey. I want to see it. And you know what? The more you do it, the better. I've got a friend of mine. She says I walk around with them all day long. Yeah, I definitely want that. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Jazzy, I remember when you were helping your grandma with flowers. 